Hello friends, today we are going to see how to add two numbers represented by a linked list. So let's see the examples. These are the two numbers which are represented by linked list and these are the original form of these numbers. So let's see. So one number is 12345 and the second is 963. You can see here 12345 and 963. So let's add it in, uh, in our traditional way. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Then 4 plus 6 is 10. So carry 1. And uh, we will write 0 here. Then 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Here nothing is there means here it is 0. And here nothing is there means it is 0 here. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Yes. So which means I have converted 963 into 00963. So because these numbers were blank here, I filled those blanks with zeros. So this is the point I am going to make in these linked lists also. So now let's see. First you have to check whether the length of the two linked lists is same. So check the length of the first linked list. So the length is 5. And length of second linked list is 3. Yes. On my channel, in some previous videos, I have explained how to calculate the length of the linked list. You can see that video and you can understand. Now, let's go ahead. So, this length 5 and 3, they are not same. And the difference is 2. So, you have to add 2 zeros to the linked list which is having lesser length. So here because L1 is greater than L2, so L2 has the lesser length. And so we are adding those number of zeros that is the difference is 2. So we are adding two zeros to this linked list. So let's add them in this linked list. Yes, you can understand how to add the nodes to the linked list by watching videos on my channel. I have explained how to add nodes to a singly linked list in one of my videos. So let's proceed forward. So as the difference is 2, we have added two zeros. Let's add the numbers. So in our conventional way, let's start. 5 plus 3 is 8. And let's go here. 4 plus 6. Oh, there is a problem. Yes. In a singly linked list, we cannot move backward. We cannot do this. We cannot move backward in a singly linked list. Which is why now we are adding one another operation that is the reverse operation. We have to reverse these two linked lists. Because if we want to add from this direction, then you have to reverse these two linked lists. Because we cannot go backwards in this linked list. Let's reverse. So let's reverse the first linked list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will become 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 0, 0, 9, 6, 3 will become 3, 6, 9, 0 and 0. Yes, we have reversed the two linked lists. Now we are ready to add the two linked lists. Now these two linked lists are ready and we have made them in an appropriate form to add. So now let's start. So for adding these two linked lists, we have to traverse these linked lists. So we will have a pointer 
P pointing to the first linked list and pointer Q pointing to the second linked list. And these pointers will travel through these linked lists in a while loop if we say for a program. So in a program we have to use this while loop for traversing the linked list by using pointers P and Q. Now, and there are these four variables which we have to keep updating in each iteration of this while loop. Let's start. So P and Q are pointing to 5 and 3. Then add P plus Q that is the data of P and data of Q. So 5 plus 3 is 8. So here you have to update this addition variable as 8. The next step is you have to divide this addition by 10. So 8 by 10. So what is 8 by 10? Yes, it is 0. So as 8 by 10 is 0, when 8 by 10 is 0, then there is no carry, which is what we have to understand if the addition divided by 10 is no 0 then there is no carry. So then we don't proceed to remainder and carry. Only when, only when the divide by 10 operation gives non-zero answer then only we go for remainder and carry. But in this case it is 0 so we don't go for remainder and carry. So 5 plus 3 is 8. So directly write the addition here by creating the new node 8. Let's move forward. P goes ahead. Q goes ahead. Now P plus Q. 4 plus 6 is 10. Update this addition variable by 10. Now divide by 10. So divide 10 by 10. Yes, the division is 1. The division is 1. So as the division is non-zero, you have to go for remainder and carry. So what is the remainder when we divide 10 by 10? The remainder is 0, which can also be written as like here. 10 remainder 10 so is 0 and what is the carry carry is 1 the division the division answer is 1 which is the carry so the carry is 1 now create the new node and write remainder in that node I will tell you the conditions when the division division by 10 is not equal to 0 when this is not equal to 0 then in the new node in this new node you have to write the remainder And when the division by 0, division by 10, sorry, is equal to 0, then the new node will carry, then the new node will hold the addition variable. We have to directly write the addition in the new node as we did in this case. 5 plus 3 is 8 because there is no carry. But 4 plus 6 is 10 then there is a carry so we have to write remainder here and carry in that carry variable let's go ahead so p goes ahead p comes here q comes here 9 plus 3 9 plus 3 is 12 update addition variable it is 12 but in this iteration as the carry is non zero the carry exists so the carry adds to 12 so it is 13 now 
the regular procedure 13 by 10 is 1 so again carry is updated by 1 carry is 1 and the remainder of 13 divided by 10 is 3 yes create a new node write remainder in that node because the carry is non zero the division is non zero so go ahead so p goes ahead now and q goes ahead now 2 plus 0 is 2 plus 0 is 2 so addition is updated by 2 as the carry is non zero it gets added to addition so that becomes 3 so the addition is 3 so 3 divided by 10 is 0 so as the division is 0 we don't need to check with remainder and carry because automatically they will be 0 and carry will also be 0 because this division is 0 so directly create the new node and write the addition in that new node because the division is 0 we have to write addition in the new node so now let's go ahead p goes ahead q goes ahead so 1 plus 0 is 1 so 1 divide yes 1 divide by 10 we directly went to this step because the carry is 0 0 plus 1 is obviously 1 so we take 1 here and 1 divided by 10 is 0 again so remainder is 0 carry is 0 directly create a new node and write addition in that node let's go ahead p goes ahead q goes ahead both are null so we are over so now there is one more point which i want to make here as the carry is 0 at the end we will write null here but if that carry was not null so if it was 1 here for example then what we would have done so let's check such an example just by updating some numbers here so just for doing that i will update this 0 with 9 so just consider that the number was 90963 just consider it as 90963 this number just for telling you the example so if it is 9 here then 1 plus 9 is 10 so 1 plus 9 is 10 we have updated here as 10 now as the carry was 0 up to this step the carry was 0 so 0 plus 10 is 10 so 10 by 10 is 1 which is why we have to check the remainder now so 10 by 10 remainder is 0 and carry is 1 see here then because the division is non zero because the division is non zero the new node will carry remainder so this new node here 1 so 1 plus 9 is 10 so this new node will carry the remainder so the remainder is here 0 so new node has carried 0 and check when p and q move forward and they both are null but the carry is non zero so at the end when the carry is non zero you have to create an another node and write carry in that node this is the last step and then you have to write it as null if the carry is non zero if the carry is 0 there is no need to write that but if the carry is non zero then you have to write 1 in that so after this step you have to reverse this whole linked list and you will get the answer so the reverse is 103308 in this case when here it is 9 and if as previous if it was 0 here then 
check here it was then it would have come one here and it will be null connected to this node because the carry was zero in this case in this case what was the updation one plus zero is one then one by ten is zero and the remainder was missed. there was no question of remainder but remainder is, was one as one mod uh, ten is one and carry was zero so this was our answer in that case so the answer was one three three zero eight this is your answer so i will just update it here zero answer is one three three zero eight this is your answer so this is how we add two numbers represented by link list you can get the full code on the link github.com slash vivekananda 44 just check the link and get the full code hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you